Here is why a diet consisting of zero carbohydrates filled with steak, butter, and eggs probably will build you the most muscle. 50 to 100 years ago, in the golden era of bodybuilding, most bodybuilders understood this. They based their diet around animal protein because they understood that that is the most bioavailable source of protein. Some people like Vince Gernoda actually went the full extreme and ate 36 eggs a day and claimed it to be similar to taking a small dose of Dianabol. Now I don't know the validity of this claim and they may have been taking steroids, well some obviously were, and they probably were still eating carbs. So I'm going to be sharing with you how personally I've been able to absolutely transform my physique, building the most muscle I've ever been able to in my entire life. A quick disclaimer, I'm not claiming to be big or have heaps of muscle or anything, I'm just showing you that this is what I used to look like six months ago and this is what I look like now. And I think that's a pretty big difference. I've lost 30 kilograms and I've built significant muscle mass in that time. If you're interested in my journey on building muscle on a zero carb diet, hit the subscribe button and it's a win-win for both of us. The first reason why you may be able to build more muscle on a zero carb diet is because of the elimination of carbohydrates. Now you may be thinking that you need carbohydrates for fuel and you're crazy to not be eating carbs. You must be tired all the time. But this isn't actually true. I still get my carbohydrates, but I just don't eat them. Your body actually makes its own carbohydrates or glucose in the form of gluconeogenesis. This is when you eat enough protein and your body converts the protein into carbohydrates. And no, carbohydrates does not build you lean muscle tissue. While it may make your muscles look bigger and fuller and softer, it does not actually involve in the protein synthesis of building muscle. Movie stars and people trying to look good, they usually do something called carb cycling, which is where they go on a low carbohydrate diet for a few days. You see, movie stars actually understand this and they incorporate something called carb cycling, which they eat a low carbohydrate diet before the days of their event or when they wanna look good. And then on the day of the event, they load up on carbs and they look really, really good. It's not actually extra muscle, it's just water retention and it just makes you look bigger. And in my opinion, the benefits of looking a little bit more full is so not worth the damage of what carbohydrates can do to some people. When you remove the carbohydrates, you remove the inflammation. You see, carbohydrates are known to cause oxidative stress in your body, which is going to lead to more inflammation in your system. Personally, I could not start resistance training or build any muscle until I completely removed carbohydrates from my diet. I was in a lot of chronic pain and I was always injured, and as soon as I removed carbohydrates, all of my issues literally just evaporated. Within literally a week, I was able to walk again and the tendonitis in my knee went. The second benefit of removing carbohydrates is you actually generally get more energy. You see, when you remove carbohydrates, your body uses fat for energy and you enter a state of ketosis. Now, having more energy will allow you to output more in the gym. You'll be able to train more frequently in the gym. You won't skip as many days, which will lead to more muscle growth. Also, staying on a carnival or zero carb diet, it really is hard to cheat. You see, I've always had issues of cheating and I'd always just binge everything in the cupboards because when I'm trying to eat healthy while eating carbs, it's there's not really a hard line. It's a bit of a fine line. It's like, okay, I've had some carbs. Why not have a bit of this junk food? But when you just draw the line and say no carbs, I really find it a lot easier to stick to a healthy diet. The second reason why you may be able to build more muscle on a zero carb or carnival diet is an increase in testosterone. You see, people in the carnival space have swore by the carnival diet as having crazy results for boosting your testosterone. I actually had an interview with Dr. Anthony Chafee and he puts his patients on a carnival diet. He's a neurosurgeon. And one of his patients who was 60 years old, triple his testosterone. That is literally life changing. Like you'll be able to just put on muscle just like that if your testosterone has been tripled. Personally for me, I know my testosterone has increased. Before I started the carnival diet, I was eating a lot of junk food and I was very overweight. And I'm gonna be honest, my testosterone was in the mid 500 range. And I actually just got a blood test two days ago. So I'm really, really excited to see the results. And I'm really hoping that my testosterone will hopefully be above 700 or 800 and I'm definitely going to make a video on it and then I can say that the carnival diet definitely improves your testosterone. Well, testosterone is made from cholesterol and what foods have the most cholesterol? Well, that's butter, eggs and steak. Basically, that's the foods that the government tells you not to eat. Cholesterol is vital for hormone health and brain health and your testosterone production. So I don't know why we would be trying to avoid these foods considering the fact that 50% of people that have a heart attack actually have a low cholesterol. So yes, I know we've been brainwashed to be thinking that eating eggs and heaps of butter is really bad for you, but you really just have to untrust what you've been told and do the research for yourself because it's still taken some time for me to actually consider butter as a health food. Um, it's still yeah, really hard to just change that 
I guess, deep brainwashing that's been happening to me. The third reason why you'll probably build the most muscle on a carnival diet is because your whole diet is based around bioavailable protein. Well, what does bioavailable protein mean? That means your body's ability to absorb the protein without getting blocked by anti-nutrients. You see, when comparing animal protein to plant protein, it's quite a joke when it comes to your body's ability to absorb these proteins. You see, what makes up a protein? Well, amino acids. And foods like eggs and meat have every single amino acid profile needed, and they're a complete amino acid source. When you compare that to foods like tofu and plant protein, they're really just a terrible source of amino acids and therefore a terrible source of protein. So although if you're eating spinach or some plant protein, on the packet it may say it has a certain number of protein, your body actually cannot absorb all that protein and it is not in its most bioavailable form. Now, if you're foreign to this concept, plants have something called anti-nutrients in them, which is a natural defense mechanism of a plant's way of trying to defend itself. You see, while animals can run away and fight back, Plants are stuck in the ground and in nature they've had these defense mechanisms and they release anti-nutrients such as oxalates, sicilates, gluten. And while meat is also really bioavailable, it does have a lot of creatine in it, a lot of amino acids that help repair your muscles such as BPC and TB500. These are extremely unique compounds that are actually used as new scientific methods to kill from injuries and to heal damage in the body and repair in the body. And a lot of them are actually found in organs. So yeah, I basically have like 200 grams of protein every day, zero grams of carbs, and maybe like 150 grams of fat. And it's so easy to get my protein in because all I'm eating is just basically just meat. Um, it's really just super easy to get it in. And while I'm building all this muscle, I'm losing body fat so easily. My skin's getting better. My mental health is getting better. My depression is going. I don't get sunburnt. Um, my focus is amazing. It, it really just seems like the optimal diet for just everyone. And you really gotta give it a try, whether it's the optimal diet for building muscle. Personally, I think it is, but I'm not a doctor or someone who is trained in this area. That is just my personal opinion. Comment below what you guys think. If you've been able to build a lot of muscle on a carnival diet or lose a lot of fat, leave a comment below and be sure to smash a like on this video if you enjoyed it. See ya.